Thank you, human. May I have another? Ah, the kitchen. Do I see an aspiring chef? human, this is an accurate simulation of Gourmet Chef. Well, the kids are all finished with their pizza and now they're ready for cake. We do get a free birthday cake, right? Can't argue with that. Human-run restaurants were morally obligated to provide free cake on children's birthdays. Good thing we have a microwave that can quickly mutate ingredients into food. Okay, kids, let's get going. Hey, boss, that party left a huge pile of dirty dishes. We're gonna need your help to get through these. They're pretty nasty, so make sure you use a good score to soap. This is terrible. You finish up without me.
human, grab a cartridge from the tray and let's get to work. Hello human, grab a cartridge from the tray and let's get to work. Ah, the kitchen. Do I see a spiral shelf? Hello, human. This is an accurate simulation of Gourmet Chef. Hey, kids. Let's get going. Hey boss, that party left a huge pile of dirty dishes. We're gonna need your help to get through these. They're pretty nasty, so make sure you use a good score to sell. Well, well, that's okay. We'll just take it out of your paycheck. Great, thanks for your help. You there, I need your help. The health inspector's on his way over and I don't think we're gonna pass inspection. You need to clean this place up. Now make it safe and sanitary. You can start by destroying all this old fruit. <laughs> okay, that's one thing taken care of. How about those sprinklers? See that little thing up on the ceiling? Try chucking something at it. See what happens. I guess it's not working. Oh well, what are the chances of there being a fire in here anyway? Now we need to deal with any potential insect problems. Look around and see if you can find anything. Yikes, that's not good. You need to do something about these guys. Get rid of them quick! Well, I guess.
This man will have to do. Here comes the health inspector. Okay, everybody stop what you're doing. It's inspection time. Hmm, yes. Interesting. Uh -huh. Ugh, it's questionable. Hmm, alright then. I'll just tally these results. And it looks like you've passed this time. Phew, that was a close one. But now we can get back to business. Hey, Chef! There's a bot here to film an episode of some TV show with you? Hmm. Well, they say it was already booked ahead of time, so... Well, just do whatever they say. Hey, human! I'm TV bot! We're doing a show on how these organic nutrient packs are made. So I just need to record some footage of you going through the various steps, okay? First step is to blend up this protein pill. <laughs> Let's get a shot of you doing that. Okay, great, that was good. Now let's get a shot of you putting this flavor packet in the microwave. All right, it's in there. Close the door and let me get a shot of the microwave or run. All right, everybody's following along at home. We got our fully exper- Beautiful! Now just pour that blended protein fluid onto the cube and we are done! Job, human. Really appreciate it. Oh, one more thing. Can I get a shot of you eating it? Just act like it's real delicious, alright? <laughs> Hey, thank you so much, human. This is some great footage. This episode's gonna be fantastic. Hey human, check this out. I found this rare Turbo Ghost Death Nova Pepper. Can you prepare it for me? I like it, H. Come on, put some heat into it. Come on, that's not hot enough. Can't you do something else?
Yeah, guess that'll have to do. Give it here. Hey, Chef. We got three bots out here who ordered the special. Not sure what that means, but that's what they want. Ordering the special means placing your trust in the chef. Just give those bots anything. Be creative. Hmm, that looks interesting. Send it off to the customer. Fascinating dish! Another beautiful looking meal, Chef. Uh -huh. mm. This meal looks so truly special. And that'll do for the last one. Mm. <laughs> Is he they wanted something special and they certainly got it. Nice cooking, human. Holy smokes! This is way too hot! Oh, sounds like the guy with the hot pepper from earlier. Hey, Chef! Help a bot out here! Come on! Thanks, human. You really saved my circuits. Got word from the TV studio, human. They like your performance on that commercial you did, so they're sending in a camera crew. They're gonna put you in a reality show. In the distant past, having your own reality show was seen as the peak of human achievement. A good work, human. Okay, bots, let's get those cameras set up already. Ready to go, boss. You ready, human? Okay, bring in the talent. Nice to meet you, human. I'm Chef Bot Ramshead. Let's get this ball rolling, shall we? Okay, we'll start with the meatball scene. And action. What are you waiting for, human? Get cooking! These meatballs aren't going to prepare themselves. Ugh, those look so bad. My neural network associates them with literal garbage. So are you going to serve them or just let them sit there and get even more disgusting? What are you doing? Those aren't free, you know. <coughs> Truly despicable. My kid! could cook a meal a hundred times better than that, and they're graphing calculators! Cut! That was good. Well, great so far, human. I know I could be a little loud on camera, but it's all just part of the show, you know? All right, scene two. That's the free-form cooking part. And action. You worthless chemical-based meat bag. Get to cooking. Make something good. Show us what you can do, if anything. That's 
so over down it could be a mean. You that finished yet? Hurry up, serve it! What you call me? That's a wrap, folks. Get your retinas checked. Great performance, human. I've got a lot of respect for you after this. Hope to work together again sometime. Farewell. Well, you know how to get back to the museum if you want to. I'll just be hanging out here while you do whatever you want. cartridge from the tray and let's get to work. Hello, human. Grab a cartridge from the tray and let's get to work. A true grease monkey. Get in the hood and get your hands dirty in our simulated mechanics shop. Hello, human. This is an accurate mechanic. Take a look at this door for instructions. human. I require a tune. Please take a look under the hood. This spot just needs a little fluid. No problem. Oh, 
This vehicle's power source appears to be unacceptably inefficient. Well done. That's looking very car. Press the button to drop it back down when you're finished. In shops like these, everything had a price. Make sure you bill the customer for the use of your highly valuable time. Oh, thank you, human. I'll get this taken care of right away. Very good, human, but we're just getting started. The world of auto mechanic has so much more to offer.
human. I've got this coupon for a sleaze bot special, whatever that is. Says that there's a discount, so hurry up and take care of my car. Get a move on. Human, over here. I'm Sleazebot, the owner of this fine establishment. Now this bot's got a coupon, so let's take real good care of him by sabotaging that car and making him come back later for more work. Okay, pistons in the... Uh, yeah, just uh, recombobulate the, the, the thing there. Uh, how about my headlight fluid? How's that looking? <laughs> yeah, I know about cars. Headlight fluid. You name it, we've got it. Get this bot some headlight fluid, human.
human. While we're dealing with fluids here, why don't we spice up their gas tank with a little secret ingredient that'll ensure they're back later for more work. messing with that car. Another coupon, is it? I do like discounts. You've really earned my patronage, good human. Nice job with that, Bob. You did all right, human. Now you keep at it. I'll be in the back counting the money. I just got this beauty at the local junkyard. Just needs a little love so I can drive illegally. What do you say? Human transport vehicles had to be evaluated for safety regularly. Broken components like these headlights would have to be replaced before evaluation.
up. Air filter's not doing too good either. Wanna take a look at that? The air filter's under the hood, human. Keep up, all right? Listen to me, pal. I'm getting pissed, you know, because I'm trying to talk about the very highest altitude of a car, and it's the roof part. And we're, you know, you're, and now you're yelling at me, and I'm, I wasn't even upset. Now I'm, I'm just getting mad because you're yelling at me, and you're saying I'm upset, and that makes me more upset than even the original whatever argument that started. All right, okay, okay, okay. Let's just let's calm down. Let's just calm down. You're listening to the radio, car radio, W or. One zero 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 one one zero FM radio. We're talking cars today. My guest Henry here. Henry, what else? You, you know, how uh, are you, how are you holding up there? Well, you know, I'm just here to talk about pipes and that they have inside the cars and the in the in the box. You know, the little metal box and you know maybe we could talk about some of the the tubes. You know, there's plenty of tubes in a car. I mean, you can't deny the amount of tubes. Yes, it's true. It's true. There are lots of tubes and pipes and metal. You know, it's probably the definition of a car is how much metal and pipes and the tubes that it that it does you know that's in there. You're listening to Car Talk here at on one zero zero one 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 zero 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 one radio. Well, reboot my hard drive. It's like a whole new car. Drop it down and give me that bill so I can show it off to my buddies. All right, we're here talking about cars today on the Car Radio Channel. Lots of stuff going on in the hood of a car. Yeah, that's right. Got a lot of things in there. You got to look at the stuff inside the car. You sure do. Yes, lots of items under inside the car. There's a there's that one metal piece. It's pretty important in the car. I like to call that the Achilles piece. Oh yeah, I know all about the Achilles piece. It's a real important piece of a car. Well, there's lots of stuff inside of a car. You got to talk around with and move around with, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with all the intricacies about a car, you know? There's all those pipes and different metal parts and things such as that. All kinds of them, really. They're very interesting vehicles, these cars. They're very interesting creations, I do admit. Oh, yes, I, I'm, I'm, t I'm really interested about these cars. I think they're pretty interesting. I do admit that there's a lot of stuff about them. There sure is. There's a lot of stuff about these cars as they've got pipes and tubes and all sorts of, you know, metal parts. It's just really, you know, what about the new, that new car? 
Oh, oh, the new car. Mm, oh, yeah, I mean, it just has all kinds of tubes and pipes and... It has metal, too, lots of metal in it. Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of... I mean, forget about it. I mean, just forget about it with all the metal and that one. Yeah, those cars... Whoa! Really Whoa! Watch when they... Whoa! That... Just a car. When he made a car, he broke the mold. Yeah, he sure did break it. I'm not... You know, I'll tell you about those cars, you know, there's a lot of lot to talk about when it comes to cars. I mean, you know, you got you pop the hood and there's the there's that one piece. Oh yeah, the piece. I know what piece it's that one metal the metal piece. Yeah, yeah. The metal one you know, that metal piece is just it's something else. I mean, you know, it's a, it's an important piece. It's maybe the most important piece of I mean, that's the first piece you want to look at when you're talking about a car. Yes, that metal piece, it's an important piece, but I do also, I don't want to take any, you know, of the limelight away from the tubes. There's lots of tubes and, 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 uh, and pipes. Let's not forget the pipes. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, a car, you, you can't, I mean, you, you can't have a car without the pipes and the tubes. I mean, there's, that's an important part of a, car. I mean, that's an important equation. It sure is. These days, it's one of the hottest topics is treated even better than they did a little bit ago before. Now, humans are allowed to experience their old-timey things, and in the news, it's getting quite interesting. Throwing it over to Mr. Newsy Michael. Hey, what's going on? It's me, Mr. Newsy Michael. I'm out on the street. I'm talking to all these people. We're going to get some real interactions about what's going on with the human-robot relations. Excuse me, sir. Yes? What, what, what's going on with this robot? Oh, man, I'm really excited about home the human robots, and I'm excited about how the humans and the robots are all together, and the humans are getting treated way better than they normally get treated, and 100% uh, better, and robots are... Alright, back to you! Well, that's an interesting. Thank you very much. Uh, it's uh, 00111 0011010110111 o'clock here uh, on the news station. In other news, the robot facility, one of the biggest facilities for robots, where the, they hang out and just float around, and is, is getting renovations this month. For the first time ever, there'll be a whole wing where you can float about and float outside up, up on a very high story of the building, and there'll be a whole wing out there for robots, and lots of people are excited about it. We take it to the mayor of robot people. We're excited about all this from the mayor, and we're very excited to announce that the robot facility, the largest facility that has where the robots can float around now officially has a wing on the highest floor one of the high floors that actually has just like a large balcony that goes outside and you can walk outside and, or float outside i mean and, and and it's a new a whole new experience here at this building traffic is that normal and the time is one zero zero one one and oh my goodness it's a little time for some commercials Krispies, Krispies, if you like them, you eat those Krispies and they're crispy and good. Krispies. A human fell down a giant hole and was trapped there for several days before robot uh, rescue services could pick him out of the hole. It was a trying uh, experience for Reginald Johnson Jones, who was trapped in the hole. Um, apparently, uh, the statement he made is that he is very thankful for the swift, uh, speedy services of the robot people. He did not mind being trapped in the hole for, for close to four days. It was perfectly fine. And the speedy recovery, we wish him at the human uh, robot run human uh, fixing uh, building where they fix the humans is seems to be going well. 
traffic and weather. Uh, this traffic is it's still p- fine, as always, and weather is just about good for all of everybody. A new delicious gear that you can install in the back of your computer part is driving people in droves to the computer gear store in the giant computer shopping. Thank you kindly, human. And these computer gears are moving like hotcakes. The newest gear to come from the company that makes the gears is said to have even more little teethy hooks on the around the outer perimeter and which makes it turn quicker and you can put it in the back of your circuit area and for a whole fresh Hello you know, human. I am required by law to do emissions test on my so vehicle. That's, that happened get on it the, done uh, so I can get out of this going wild for it. Thank the lines you. are all the way stretched around the whole perimeter of the giant place where you shop to buy them. Famous computer uh, uh, character who. Yeah, this uh, looks like a lot of work. Being a Let's see if we can figure things. out a shortcut. Uh, Check has my just stash. Released his see if there's anything in there that can today. Us. It's called Computer Things Part 3, and it's filled with all kinds of wonderful computer things. And uh, come out, comes out today. So this does mark a pretty monumental occasion. The sky is uh, still fairly dark from the giant massive clouds of uh, dust that were kicked up when the robots decided they didn't want all these plants on the ground. So it's a pretty, it's a dark thing, and it's but it's but it's humans are seem to be very happy about this. All the time.